TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Kaiju number eight. If you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's, we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. Let's get into... Uh, Kaiju number eight. Kaiju number eight. Yeah, that show's been uh, surprisingly good. First episode was a little slow, but it really introduced everything you needed to know. And basically, the main character wanted to fight Kaiju, and then, but he kind of wasn't good enough and failed. You are the weakest link. Fight. And lost his opportunity. He believed until. There's been enough of a kaiju defense force dying that they needed more people. They had to raise the age limit so he could uh, potentially get in. But while they were while he was working cleanup, uh, he he managed to escape from a kaiju. But they were both still really hurt, and so basically they're in the hospital. And then a kaiju goes inside of him. <laughs> And now he can turn into a kaiju. Most kaijus are caught, but they when they found out about his kaiju, his form, well, they don't know he turns into him, but they just know there's this kaiju number eight that's at large that mm-hmm. just shows up randomly and they can't seem to figure it out. And it, what's really cool is once he starts trying to get into the kaiju defense force, uh, he starts meeting other people, and other people start finding out about it too, his abilities too. And then some others have suspicions, like the the co the the co commander of a group he's in knows something's off, but he also enjoys laughing at his oh, failure yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so he's basically just trying to figure out what's with this guy. Mm-hmm. And then the girl is a ridiculously powerful oh yeah and he i think the interaction with him and the girl especially after he saves her life it, it, she's just like okay i'll keep your secret <laughs> but it's always like telling him like why are you doing this that's a terrible decision yeah yeah it's I, i've liked it so i'm not gonna lie it feels like an attack on titan rip off at first where kind of like Ed and Yeager where he becomes a Titan. Like it feels like, like that, but it's current times. I even thought where they were using ODM gear at first, but they don't like they're on foot or like they'll yeah. do like a rooftop traveling kind of like the Ninja Turtles or whatever, you know, or, or daredevil, what have you. Right. Yeah. They have power suits. Right. Yeah. And so the way that they, yeah, it's like this character is brought in to, cause they're like part of the cleanup crew of, kaijus that's what the main guy is and there's a new guy joins and he inspires the old guy to be like hey man you should try out again like i'm here because i want to try out and we should do it together and that was really cool because he looks up to him and and like they help each other out and stuff yeah and he's like all stressed out and he's like i gotta keep his secret i gotta make sure he doesn't use his powers and i love it too because the ladies in this are the most powerful people by far and large like easily and it's funny that, like, the dude has to essentially become a kaiju to even, like, be that level of powerful, you know? Like, so funny. But it's funny enough that the characters, they change and they're unique. And, like, they just, like, their different power levels and stuff. And, man, it's gotten super intense, super quick. And I love it. And the animation, like, is goofy sometimes. And sometimes it's, like, really awesome and hardcore. You know? Like, I love how it fluctuates. It's not quite chibi mode, but, like, it is definitely, like, kind of, like, you know, feel like taking at least dipping a toe in that, you know? Like, and then, because sometimes he looks goofy and then he looks really hardcore. And so it's really, it's just super awesome and interesting. And then the backstory, too, of it, 
I yeah, I'm loving it, and it is really it's really awesome. One thing too that's really funny is like yeah, that one chick that's the new she's new and she's the blonde girl. She's like super powerful, has some daddy issues, and he's totally filling that void because he gives her he gives her that you know like when she kills him, hey good job and like. It's what she wants from her real dad that she never got. And because he's an older guy, but not like super old, right? Like he's not actually the eight of her dad, but he's like, what, 34 or whatever. So everyone calls him the old guy. And yeah, and I can relate to that too. Like starting to get like up there, like, you know, around that age. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know, you know, but still trying to be fit and like do stuff that the young guys at work are doing and stuff. Hey, my peeps. Crack a lacking. <laughs> Family fifth spots. Come on. All the way out. Yeah, and etc. <laughs> Is that your Ferrari on the sidewalk? True that. It I love it. It's it's a blast and it's phenomenal and it's separating itself from stuff. It does, like I said, seem like an attack on Titan clone at first, but it's starting to separate itself really quickly and really well. And and that's why for me personally, I, I give it a must see. Yeah, it's a must-see for me as well. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for watching and checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Uh, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here and then... The, the TARDIS is going to be right here. but um, And then I'm wearing, rocking my Asul Beetle all print, um, not leggings, what do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the w way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have 100 items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you. And you're sporting uh, the periodically nerdy shirt. Which is just, it's nerdy, periodically, yeah. obviously. It's hilarious and brilliant. Which is so fitting for the ambassador. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? Let's do some shout-outs, too. I got some shout-outs for the peeps. For that, always at the top of the list, we have... Atticus. Atticus. Uh, and then we have, um, which is, he's a YouTuber, and he's just raw and, and, and real, and he's a teacher out in Vietnam, and but he also just does slice-of-life stuff that's that's really interesting, really great, you know, what it's like to have relationships with friends, you know, people of the, um, r romantic relationships, even pre people of the opposite gender of your own or whatever. And, uh, and, and it's so cool. I love just seeing it cause it like the land is just beautiful. Like it's, it's so cool to see, uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde is another one that is great. Uh, they do, comics like online comics and they're great and every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational so i love their stuff a uh, film rage those guys are hilarious they cover all films doesn't matter they will cover all of them because they like us will waste their time so you don't have to and uh mary may media which kind of sounds like what it is which is anime media um and a little americana i guess i don't know um so yeah, and then uh, Superpower List, those guys are awesome, hardcore comic book nerds, talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.